Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jan. For those of you that have been following along for the rest of this summer, uh, you'll know that we expanded our pack bar and we did that for a couple of different reasons. The biggest reason, of course, we get three times as much straw pack as our old one with this new one. So um, expanding the barn gave us a lot more room to have cows on the straw pack. But there was a couple of other reasons why we did expand the pack barn. Another one was so that we could have those doors quite a bit higher. The wheel loader then fits in the pack barn quite a bit easier. And the third big reason why we expanded this pack barn was to make manure management in this barn easier and more convenient for us. And we did that by bringing the slot from the back of that freestall barn through the tie-in and right into the back of our pack barn here. And we were kind of hesitant to get this thing hooked up and start running manure through it just because we didn't have the doors in this pack barn yet. But as you guys can see, we got it tarped up pretty good. And that tarp actually is doing an incredible job of keeping this barn nice and warm. So we weren't actually worried about this slot freezing up anymore. So we went ahead and hooked it up and we used it for the first time this morning, scraping that freestall barn. And uh, right now what I'm actually gonna do is for the first time, scrape these manure alleys into the slot. So this has been a long time coming. I'm pretty excited to do this. We have been scooping it just with a bucket and the skid steer dumping that uh, manure into the freestall barn alleys there. It's a messy time consuming job. And uh, we're finally able to push the manure into this slot at the back of the pack barn. So I'm super excited for that. That's what we're doing right now. But first, I gotta clean this um, alley out here. Haven't had cows in the back part of the straw pack yet. So there's some small stuff, some wires and stuff to clean up before we actually get into that. Awesome, so this alley now is completely clean. We are gonna put the cows, let them walk all the way onto this new part of the pack after we're done scraping this alley here. But uh, now we're gonna put all the cows onto the straw pack and just open both sides of the straw pack barn up here so we can drive through here with the Bobcat. Right on both sides are ready to be scraped. The cows are on the straw packs and they can't get on the alleys. Last thing we gotta do is open this door and then we can grab the skid steer. Same button as before, same pump. Just goes all the way to the pack barn. So the slot now is probably a total of 180 feet long. Not quite 200, so it still works pretty good. The flow of the liquid in that slot is still really good as well. It's just gonna depend on how uh, thick the manure is in this pit back here. But anyway, we're gonna hop in this thing and get scraping.
next thing we're going to be doing today is cleaning out this old straw pack barn for the calves. We haven't had calves in here for almost a year probably. We just leave the straw pack in here because it kind of insulates the concrete and the water lines to those two water bowls. We haven't cleaned it out, but we've had a pretty big influx of new calves here recently over the last couple months. That's why we've been moving calves out of that individual calf pen barn so often. And uh, we need some more room to put calves in group pens, but still indoors. So that's why we're gonna clean this out. We're gonna get ready to go for the next group of calves that are gonna be moving out of the individual pens and then into a group pen barn. Well, we finished cleaning out that calf barn, scooped the straw pack out, we put it right away in the manure wagon like you guys saw there, spread it over the field. There's not a lot of snow at all here, um, so we were able to still spread it on the field without uh, spreading it on top of any snow, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, got that done. There's some fresh bedding in there, ready for some calves. Anyway, I'm milking this afternoon with Nalene. Gonna get the shift cleaned up here. Yep. And uh, finish the day off. Come on, ladies. All right, all right, let's go. Right on, we are done milking. Nalene is gonna clean the parlor and I'm gonna do the back of barn stuff. So I gotta make a new foot bath here. Uh, the foot bath has a little door at the back so it'll drain itself out and then we'll clean it and start mixing the new foot bath. Awesome, that is the copper sulfate foot bath done. Copper sulfate is that blue powder that you guys saw me dumping in there. 
Uh, we like to make the foot bath when we're done milking so that it has time to cool down because we use hot water to mix it. We don't want to send cows through the boiling hot foot bath. That would be kind of rude, I guess. And if you guys are wondering how much this foot bath costs, the blue powder that we dump in there, the copper sulfate, is about $50. So that's what it costs to run a foot bath. Uh, kind of expensive, but we need to do that. Uh, basically what this foot bath does, it kills a little bit of bacteria on the cow's hoof and it prevents them from getting what's called hairy heel wart or strawberry foot. And this is a nasty sore that cows can get on their feet. Just because they are walking in a barn all day in some manure, uh, this prevents that from happening to the cows in the herd. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram, at SaskDutchKid, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.